I'm Christy LePage with Maxwell Technologies. In today's demo, I'm going to show how easy it is to install Maxwell's Engine Start Module, also known as the ESM. Here, we have a battery box from a Class 8 truck. I removed one of the four lead-acid batteries and replaced it with the ESM. As you can see, the ESM is the same size as a Group 31 lead-acid battery and fits perfectly into the battery box. The ESM simply connects in parallel with the other three batteries. Make sure the ESM's positive and negative connections are properly aligned with the batteries. The ESM has a third terminal labeled starter positive. For proper operation, the starter positive terminal must be the only connection to the starter solenoid. Unlike a battery, the ESM has three terminals. The ESM also contains an internal computer that monitors and controls the charging of the ultracapacitor cells. When the push button is pressed, two LED status lights are activated for 10 seconds. These status lights tell you the state of the ESM. A solid green light means the ESM is fully charged and ready to start the engine. In this example, we use a two-gauge cable to connect the ESM starter positive terminal to the starter motor solenoid. Since this starter motor also has an integrated magnetic switch, the only other connection to the starter positive post is from the magnetic switch. Refer to our installation guide and user's manual for the recommended cable size for your installation. In a typical Class 8 truck, the alternator is also connected to the starter motor solenoid. Since the ESM must be the only connection to the starter motor, we must remove the alternator cable and run a new cable from the alternator to the other batteries in the battery box, so they will be kept charged when the engine is running. This can be accomplished with a new cable or by using a terminal block to isolate the alternator cable to the batteries using the original battery cable to the starter, as shown in the following diagram. It is recommended that the alternator connection to the batteries includes an appropriately sized fuse located as close to the batteries as possible. As a rule of thumb, this fuse should be sized at approximately 140% of the alternator output current. Check the current rating at the alternator, then multiply by 1.4 to find the nearest rated fuse size. Also make sure the cable from the alternator to the batteries is rated to handle the current. If you installed the ESM using this video, please allow 30 minutes for the ESM to fully charge before starting your engine. You'll see that the batteries are at 12 and a half volts, while the ESM is fully charged at 15 volts. This concludes our video. If you have more questions, please visit our website at www.maxwell.com forward slash ESM or call our technical assistance line anytime. Thanks again for watching.